G'day, welcome back to the vlog. In this video, we're gonna be in the shed this time because we're gonna be turning these shuttles into our cricket bins, as you can see, just here. So I've had a few people ask how do we actually build them and it's just gonna be a little quick video on how we actually chop them up and make our cricket homes. So let's get into it. All right, first thing you need to do is actually find yourself some shuttles. You gotta make sure that they're actually safe uh, for the crickets to live in because sometimes you can get some pretty dangerous chemicals being put in these. Uh, but we're lucky enough that we get all the safe runs from the farmers around the area. But then we also get a lot, these two just over here, or sorry, these four, actually came from an next door neighbor who's a bee grower and they used to transport honey in them. So a lot of people have them, honey, grapes, wine, scrap metal, it's just kind of a bit of a waste product that we also turn and we can recycle and use in the creep container. So yeah, let's get into it. The um, first thing that we need to do is, this is a one that's partially finished, but with these two just here, actually I might have to get them down, just a second. All right, what you want to do first is you need to remove all these little bolts just here, and you need to keep these bars, because these bars are going to be used for something later when you actually have to have the support rack then the first thing that you need to do is to remove the tub and what we do over here, this is going to be my dad's job, is just to cut them in half and that's really simple because then you get obviously these massive tubs that the crickets can stay in. But after you remove this and remove the bin, if we come over here, I'll show you that you actually have to use them and weld them in place up here to be used as support beams. And then you're probably wondering what these support beams here are and we'll get to that right now. So you need to cut two here and then one and then two again and then one and then stack them on top of each other and weld them all together. And those faces that have just been cut open there, we also then use that as the support beam. So what we'll do now is we'll start from scratch and we'll show you the full process just to give you a better picture.
All right, the next thing that we need to do is we need to make all these cuts. So, from the base, we cut twice in. That's a rack there. So then we have another cricket rack here, another cricket rack here, one more here, and the final one there. So, two frames, then one frame, two frames, then one frame. And there we go. then uses the support racks. So just gotta cut all those length now. Now that all 
the faces have been cut to length down the bottom there. Now we just have to put them in and weld them, as you can see just here. And then that will be our support base. And also, if you remember from the top, when you first pull out from here, you can see them just here. These bars, that's gonna go on the top rack there. So they'll be sitting up here, like this. So yeah, all right, there it is, let's do it. Once you've welded all your faces in, then you're pretty much good to go. You just gotta make sure that you cut your boxes in half now. So something like that there. And you've got yourself 
a nice little cricket farm container.
that will then look something like this, and we've made up four. And there are no crickets in this container because this is actually a brand new container that we're setting up. And eventually we will put this onto the channel. So you can see just here, this is the new one. Looking real fresh, so we've got our two other ones just here, the old one and the one that we're currently filling up with crickets. But yeah, this is just the new one that we bought, so we've just started to insulate it all, we're painting the floors, and now we're building the racks for the crickets, so um, we will put up another video very shortly of us actually constructing this whole container, so we've just got to build four more of these, but that is pretty much what you, all you need to do to be able to make these shuttles. And I can tell you what, they can fit a lot of crickets in them. All right, that's everything. Um, thank you so much for everyone who tunes in to the YouTube channel. Um, it's really, really cool to see the growth of edible insects and the growth of edible crickets as well for human consumption growing every day that we're seeing. So thanks for the support on the channel and on the Instagram page as well as all the other social medias. I really appreciate it. Um, be sure to check out the other videos on the channel. We've got heaps of information on there about actually how we farm crickets and how we go about doing it. So. It's really, really cool and of course, again, if you have any other questions, be sure to leave a comment below or send us a message on Facebook or Instagram, we're always going to reply on there. So yeah, that's everything and um, have a great week and we'll see you later.